Uh, uh. Why am I sticking out my tongue? Looks like I'm trying to touch people that I'm not supposed to touch. <laughs> Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Now, too frequently in my life have I met this type of person that I hate the most. Now, what is this type of person, you ask? This type of person is a backstabbing, disloyal motherfucker. These bros ain't loyal, oh. Now, what I'm finding out that when it comes to a lot of people nowadays, loyalty really doesn't mean shit to you. Now, how many of you out there have the hardest time finding a true homie? You know what I'm saying? Like a loyal, down to earth homeboy or homegirl. And how many of you out there have brought somebody into your inner circle that you really thought was the true homie, but they done backstabbed the fuck out ya? I hate disloyal bitches. Like what the hell happened? Like loyalty used to be the thing that everybody was looking for in a friend or a human being. And don't get it twisted, I'm not talking about blind loyalty either. Like if you follow somebody to the ends of the earth, even if you know that they're wrong, no. Fuck that. The loyalty that I'm talking about is staying true to your homies. People don't give two fucking shits about that and I'm starting to understand why. Because it seems that people have this concept that as long as you come up sacrificing everybody else along the way, you're perfectly fine doing that shit. And to those people who I've met who have done or do that type of shit, you are what we call a chauncey ass bitch. Oh, you have no idea how much I love that phrase. You chauncey ass cock sucking butt licking peacock butt stuffing chode licking motherfucking bitch. Oh no, he did. Anybody who has done this to somebody and has done it to them over and over again and to the next people that meet have done this without facing consequences. And you wanna know why? And you wanna know why? It's because when they do that type of shit, nobody checks these motherfuckers. Oh no, he did. And it's because when shit goes down, people love using this phrase. Don't worry, karma will get them. Karma? Who the fuck is karma? You talking about Carmex, bitch? That's a chapstick. And another thing, why yesterday I meet this hipster ass white dude, he came up to me and asked, have you heard about Carmex? It's awesome. You coming up to me acting like you discovered that shit? Let me tell you something, you crusty ass toenail. It's been discovered. Black and Asian people been known about Carmex. Now get your ass back at home, shave your damn beard, chop your man bun off, and hold your breath until it turns blue, goddammit. You know, sometimes I just hate waiting for justice because we always have to wait there and say they're gonna get it in their due time. And this is one of the biggest reasons why people have the hardest time investing themselves into new people. As I get older, I slowly start to realize why Drake made that song. No new friends, no, no, no. That's not even how it goes. It is the hardest thing to meet people who will stay true to you and stay by your side through thick and thin. And that's why I always say keep your circle small and know who are your friends and who are your acquaintances. And you know what I think the worst part about these disloyal motherfuckers is that they are the best at being likable. But what you'll find out is just because somebody is likable and pleasant to be around, it doesn't mean that you should trust them. Because these type of people do, they could stab you right in the back the day before, but the day that they see you, they will come up to you with wide ass open arms waiting for a hug. I just wish I could pull a Bart Kwan, stick my fucking fingers into the socket of their fucking eyes, drag it all the way down, and smash their fucking chin into my fucking kneecap. But no, I always gotta wait for karma because karma's gonna get them someday. Well, guess what, motherfucker? Karma's a fucking metal bat to your kneecap. What? Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Don't you hate people who just backstab the fuck out of you? And we just gotta wait till these disloyal motherfuckers will get theirs because it turns out they will not get that far in life and when you're better than them, guess what? Success is the best revenge. I keep my homies tight and close, dude. Ain't nobody new up in this circle, bitch. Deal with it. <laughs> but remember, fans, if you do want to be a part of these vlogs, make sure that you go to the Facebook fan page or go to the Instagram. Lay me on some questions, some vlog topics, some articles, whatever you like, and we will get it popping, 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 popping. <laughs> See y'all next time.